All right, so I'm gonna be showing how to open up and disassemble this HP Pavilion laptop model 15T-EG200, all right? It's really hard to see and I have a tripod in my way, so yeah. All right, you're just gonna have to trust me on that. Anyways, we're gonna be using a JAS-1 as well as a JAS-0 screwdriver. So first thing we're gonna do is remove the two corner or side pieces of this rubber um, to get to the screws. So there's a screw under each side. So as you can see, there's one screw there. We're gonna remove that one. You wanna keep the screws in order because they can be different size, shape, and lengths, all right? And if you mix them up, you can cause damage to your computer. So you wanna keep them in order. I put them like that, flat side down on my desk and the power and I remove them. Right now I'm not at a desk, but you get the idea. All right, also if this video helps you out, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. All right, we're gonna get underneath here as well. The adhesive sometimes doesn't come up with the rubber piece. If that happens, you do wanna peel up, make sure to peel up the adhesive. Um, and if the adhesive doesn't hold well, you can also uh, replace it with some other kind of double stick adhesive. Any double stick adhesive should be fine. All right, we're gonna try to peel this guy up. Move that out of the way. All right, so we'll get that screw out as well. Now we're gonna have to switch over to a JS0 screwdriver because HP likes to change the screw type up here. I'm gonna remove these two screws as well. The bottom covers on these are a bit difficult to remove, so keep that in mind. It might not come off really easily. Okay. So the way usually you get these out, this one, because it's uh, had some broken hinge here, I kind of fixed it already, but you can see, so it pops up easily. But normally what you want to do is you actually, let's see if I can even show this. Let me raise this up. Okay, so go here. All right, so for that, we have to pop the side usually. So usually I'll push on the palm rest, not the keyboard, the palm rest, okay? And we're gonna try and push on that while we pull with my fingernails here. You can also use a suction cup. And what you wanna do is you basically wanna get the clips on the side of this out, okay? And then once you get the clips on the side, um, it kind of already came up, but once you get the clips on the side, you can kind of pull this and you can kind of flex it a little like this to pull the clips in here out and you can get that out. But you can see it already came out. Normally there'll be strong clips down here. You gotta just lift it up and it will pop out just like that, okay? So here you can see inside, we're just gonna take a quick look inside. Um, let me drop this back down, okay? And we're just gonna take a look. Not gonna be taking components out, but here you can see the RAM. I guess we need to take a stick of RAM out to see what type, but pull the two tabs aside, comes out. And here you can see it's a PC4 3200AA, eight gig stick of RAM. You can put any PC4 3200AA stick of RAM, you should be okay. If you want, you can put two 16 gig sticks and you can have a total of 32 gigs, right? CPU is soldered to the motherboard here underneath the heat sink. All right, and the heat sink uh, pulls the heat over to here and the fan blows the heat out through these fins. The fins um, help increase the surface area to make the heat easier to dissipate. Here's the M.2 PCIe NVMe SSD. All right, there's one screw holding it in, then it pops up like the RAM, you can pull it out. Keyboard connector here with the flip latch holding it. These are ZIF or zero insertion force uh, connectors. Um, there's a connector here, it looks like on some models, most likely this is for a keyboard backlight, but this one doesn't use it. Then you got this cable, most likely for the key, um, touchpad or trackpad. Looks like this is the motherboard model number, DAG7HGMB8B0, revision B. All right, batteries here, you just gotta remove the uh, four screws at the top and then the three or two screws at the bottom, one here and here. After you remove those screws, you can grab here and pull it straight up. It will swing out that way to disconnect from the clips or the connector. And the battery model number is HW03XL. The wireless card is here. Comes out just like the SSD and RAM with after taking out that one screw. You do wanna take the antennas out. And to do that, you do need to peel off this clear plastic uh, rectangle square. All right, and then you can pull up from the tail, pop the antenna out, and that's how you get out. 
here's the speaker all right there's a wire going across the bottom of the speaker connecting to this one and then this both speakers connect to the motherboard or logic board here okay so then you have this connector connecting the daughter board here um, there's the USB port there it looks like that one board is just for a USB port then there's the DC jack charge port connector if you want to remove that take out the screws here after you do that you can lift this hinge up usually what I'll do is I'll open the laptop slightly undo these screws then close it that way the hinge stays slightly up and then you can get underneath and swing it all the way back then the charge port comes out by pulling it straight up connects right there all right that's how the charge port connects make sure to take note of the wire connector white yellow brown black black red red make sure you don't flip it upside down because if the reds get connected here you try and push it in you can destroy your motherboard fan is connected right there and it looks like it's held in with three screws one up here here and there and not really much else to say lcd lvds connectors here don't mess with this cable unless you first pop out the battery disconnect power open the laptop and then press and hold the power button for at least 15 seconds all right since the power button is part of the keyboard make sure that this cable is connected when you open it and press and hold the power button otherwise you will very likely fry the backlight fry this connector fry this connector fry something on the board that controls the backlight or fry your screen or a combination of all of them so yeah not really much else to say here this hinge was kind of popping out it was broken so I fixed it. Also, they were missing some screws, so I replaced those as well. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and pop this back in. So to get this back on, you want to go at an angle. And then, if you can, click those at the bottom first. Okay, make sure to clip those in. This case is all dented and broken up, so the clips don't hold too well. But yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and get the screws back in. We have the small... JS or J0 screws. We're going to get those back in. You can see this thing keeps popping back up because the clips are all messed up. But uh, yeah, let's get this in. Also, make sure you flip the laptop over and get any loose pieces out of there. Um, there was a loose screw rolling around in here. I'm surprised it didn't get, uh, it didn't fry the motherboard, luckily. Okay, so you want to be very careful if there's any loose components inside the computer. All right, now we just gotta get the last four screws in and that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, again, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. Um, if you can't help out that way, again, it would help a lot if you could watch a few of my other videos and then like and comment on those as well because that's what the algorithm likes to see. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Get the last two screws in and we're good to go. All right, get that out. Get that in. All right, and the last one. I don't think I got a good thumbnail, but I don't know, we'll see. That's pretty much it. Make sure to flatten this thing out. Okay, the adhesive here, it didn't work too well. You can see it kind of went all gross. So try and flatten it as much as possible. Stick it down. If it doesn't stick, you can snip off that part that's bad and put some new adhesive. But that's pretty much it. Let's actually power this on. Okay, hinges are good. Power button's working. And let's see if I can show you. Okay, and it's working. So we should be good to go. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. All right, bye.